Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have an Aldi haul for you guys. It's not often that I do a full on Aldi haul for you guys. Usually it's just candles. This week, this week, the Aldi finds just kind of reeled me in and I got a lot of stuff and I wanted to show you guys what all I bought, candles included. The candles will be at the end of this video. As always, I will rate them from my favorite to least favorite or vice versa, but let me show you guys what I got. So if you guys watch me on the regular, you guys know that I love dachshunds. Dachshunds are my jam. I have two dachshunds. I've owned dachshunds pretty much my whole life. Technically not my whole life, but for over 20 years, I have had a dachshund in my life. I got my first dachshund when I think I was 14, so 21 years ago. Um, my two eldest did pass away, and I recently got two more two years ago, Trixie and Gunner. If I get crafty, I will add a picture of my babies in so you guys can see them. But I have two dapple dachshunds. I have a classic Merle dapple as well as an Isabella dapple. Enough about them. Let's talk about what I actually got. So as soon as my friends saw these in the ads, I started getting direct messages. I got a direct message from my best friend, Brandy. Then I had Janice texting me. Everybody that saw the docs and totes was like, Heather, Heather, did you see the Aldi ad? Yes, yes, I saw the Aldi ad. So of course I had to get these. They had the insulated Dachshund Picnic Tote for $9.99. I went ahead and I actually grabbed two of these. I love these because usually if my husband has a long weekend, him and I, we will go south down to Amish country and we will go get some fresh produce, some fresh meats and that kind of stuff. And I love having these insulated totes for that. Or if we go up towards the Cleveland area to West Side Market, I like to pick up a lot of meats. Love, love, love these totes. So two of them. And the pattern is absolutely adorable. Look at all those little dachshunds. This one kind of looks like my Isabella Dapple. Unfortunately, none of them look like my Merle Dapple, but that's okay because there's weenie dogs all over it and I am a happy, happy girl. So to go with the picnic tote, they also had the like 31 style knockoff um, utility totes. And I've never owned any of these utility totes, but because they had them in dachshund pattern, I had to get two of them. And I figured they're great for grocery shopping, whether it be Aldi trips or whether it be grocery store trips. I did use one of them obviously tonight to put the rest of my Aldi stuff in. So I got Aldi candles in there as well as two other items. So let me show you guys the other items. It is candle related without being a candle. So I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. Bought this house two years ago. I have been burning candles in this house for two years now. I burned them upstairs. I burned them downstairs. I burned them in the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, all over. And it's showing. There is soot on my walls. And these have been out before. I bought them before and I ended up not using them and like gifting them away. And I finally told my husband, I'm like, oh, look, they're, they're back and that. I'm like, I don't know if I should get one because I don't know if I'm going to use them. What I dislike about my house especially my lower level, is I live in a split level. So instead of having outlets at ground level, they are like midway up the wall. And a lot of times you see your cord hanging down. I don't like that look at all. But I did go ahead and get two of the candle warmer lanterns. I'm going to make it a habit to try to use these. These do only fit the three wicks from Aldi or Bath and Body Works. So the classic like 14 ounce three wicks. They were $14.99. I went ahead and I grabbed one in the white finish. My husband jokingly said, he's like, oh, you should get three of them. And you know what? I probably should have got three because then I could have built two of them to him. He was really good to me tonight. He bought me one of my candle warmers and he bought me one of each of the dachshund bags. And then I got hooked, got on the hook for everything else because he was not supporting my whole shopping spree tonight. So the second one is the darker wood finish and this one is absolutely beautiful. I really like that dark wood finish. 
I think this is going to be the one that actually ends up going in my kitchen. We're going to be having our kitchen redone, not right away, but I think it's going to be done in like gray and white tones. And I definitely think this dark wood is going to offset it. And then in my living room, my living room is painted a gray color and I have this like white carved wood um, TV stand and it has a dark wood top. So I think I'm doing the white one in there because the white will contrast with that dark wood top. So two candle warmers, $14.99 each. Now let's get into those fall candles. So this is the first collection of fall candles for 2023 from Aldi this year. So really excited about these. Really excited to start my fall candles. As always, you guys know, I'm not going in any particular order. At the end, I'll let you know what's my favorite, what's my least favorite. So these were $4.49. They are a 14 ounce soy blend candle. First one we have here is called Sunflower Fields. Gorgeous, like mustard yellow color. I literally wore a sweater this color this past weekend to a memorial. I love this color for fall time. So do I think that it smells like sunflowers? I definitely think that it's a floral scent, not necessarily sunflowers. It's a very clean yellow floral fragrance. Little bit of a powdery undertone to it. Definitely curious to see how this one does burning. It, in a sense, I guess it would remind me a little bit of the, um, believe it or not, I guess that's a suiting name because it does remind me of the, I think it's Elizabeth Arden who makes it, Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers perfume. So it smells like Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers perfume. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. So the next one in the collection is Honey Crisp and Persimmon. And I've never looked up what persimmon is, so I have no idea. And this one is like a rusty orangish red color. Nice spacing on the wicks, at least on both of them so far. And this one is definitely like a honey crisp apple, I would say. And I don't, like I said, I don't know what a persimmon is. So I don't know how to explain it, but I had a persimmon candle last year from Yankee and I absolutely loved and adored it. And once again, I love persimmon in this. So I definitely think that's a good one. I will say I struggled with this candle collection. I wanted to hoard it. I don't think that there is necessarily a super bad one in the collection by any, any means. So two more here. The next one is Smoked Caramel Praline. This one I was a little bit worried about. I was worried that I was going to want to hoard this one just based on the name. Trying to be good, trying to work through my candle collection without hoarding. So this one is a very golden orange color. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. So I would say I get a pecan note, which most likely is that praline note. So I feel like I get like pecans drizzled in caramel. I don't know if you've ever had the caramel sauce from Aldi. We recently tried it for the first time last week for like dipping in apples. Absolutely phenomenal. So it's like that. It's a true sugary sweet caramel, not a salted caramel when it comes to this candle. So not really a salted caramel. I don't get any smoky note out of it. I just get that like classic butterscotchy caramel kind of smell with pecans. So last but not least is Fall in Love. Gorgeous deep teal color. Absolutely stunning for fall. This definitely, it gives me a little bit of a pine vibe, but not too much pine. You get that masculine smell. It's very earthy and outdoorsy. I feel like I've smelled this scent before from Bath and Body Works. It's not like mahogany teak wood or anything like that. This is definitely like one of their fall scented candles. Doesn't smell like leaves from Bath and Body Works, but it is like one of those like mossy, outdoorsy smells. And in a sense... There's definitely a place for this in my collection, but it's not my favorite kind of scent. 
So now that I said that, let's go ahead and get into reading these. So my least favorite from the collection is actually the Fall in Love. That's not to say it's a bad one. I definitely like it, but this is not something I would burn all the time. I definitely will enjoy it for the fall season, but not stock up worthy for me. My number three is going to be the Sunflower Fields. It's a pretty scent. Doesn't scream fall. Mm, not necessarily. It's a nice year-round scent. But I also just, I don't feel like this is anything special. Like I said, I'm happy to have one in my collection. I do not think that this collection was a dud collection at all. I think that all of them were great in their own way. But I do think that there are some superstars. Number two is going to be the Smoked Caramel Praline. I love caramel scents. Nutty caramel scents for fall. Like that's the way to reel me in is give me the comfort scents. This is a comfort scent. Absolutely phenomenal. Cannot wait to burn this. I thought I would want to stock up on it, but once I smelled it, I'm like, ah, one's enough. Let's go ahead and exhibit some self-control, Heather, and only get one. Where I did not exhibit self-control is I did pick up two, and that was being modest, two of the Honey Crisp and Persimmon. I think this is phenomenal. I love honey soaked apples from Swan Creek. Smells similar, but yet different. I definitely think you get that uh, persimmon note in there. And I should say, even though I don't know what like a persimmon is, the Yankee Candle that I had last year had like a picture of it on it. Still don't technically know what it is, but I definitely get that smell. Like I get that smell with apple and I love it. So this is in my number one spot. I hope you guys enjoyed my Aldi haul. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys have dachshunds, definitely let me know down below. Cause like I said, I love dachshunds. So thank you for watching and bye everyone.